G'day cheeky dogs, my name is Margie and I'm an Australian currently living in America. Today's video we're going to be doing a breakdown of the Bluey episode The Weekend, which is both technically the pilot from 2017 as well as season 1 episode 6. So I'm going to be doing a bit of like a comparison between the two as well as breaking down all the easter eggs and Aussie isms and references that are all throughout that episode. So if you like content like this as well as any other Bluey, Australia vs America, animated content in general, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below it really really means a lot to me and I will be putting out a lot of content this month so make sure you hit that bell for notifications as well because we've got 11 new episodes of Bluey coming out so it's gonna be a busy month for me so with that being said let's just jump straight into the synopsis the weekend at the weekend Bluey and Bingo are playing in the garden with dad but Bingo gets upset when she discovers a walking leaf insect and dad is too caught up in the game to notice. Now, straight away, there's actually something really interesting between this and the pilot episode, and that is the intro sequence. So in the pilot, there's a totally different soundtrack. It's different music for the intro. <laughs> Unlike what we see now, which is the whole Gila family there playing musical statues to the very iconic Bluey theme song. So then our first sort of scene is introing in on Bingo and it's super cute. There's not a whole lot of difference here, but in the pilot episode, she's definitely like a little bit more like straight and structured. Whereas in the regular episode six, she's a lot more curved. Something that's interesting I think here is one, we hear Bingo singing, which we hear a lot of, but also what she's eating is Nutrigrain, which is a very iconic Australian cereal that a lot of us eat for breakfast. We then pan over and we get introduced to Bandit and there is quite noticeably a big difference between Bandit in episode six versus Bandit in the pilot. So the first thing of course that you'll notice is the black markings over his eyes in the pilot there's only one but in episode six it goes all across his face to make him look like a bandit which i think is a really cute reference obviously to his name and the other big difference of course is his belly in episode six he has that huge yellow belly as well but in the pilot it's just the light blue something really interesting though in the pilot episode is that in the background there you can sort of see two things on the wall first one is a maroon jersey which is from the brisbane broncos which is the rugby team for brisbane where the Gila family live and then across you'll see sort of a horse on the wall and that is the mascot for the broncos team as well broncos horse I'm sure you kind of get it there. But I love that even in the pilot, they had references to Brisbane and Australia. Something else which is really interesting between the two is the location, I guess, of the dining room. You can see that they played around with locations in the house. So in episode six, we know that the dining room is like upstairs near the veranda and the kitchen. But in the pilot episode, you can see the front door already in the background. Hey, if you had any uh, goo goos or gagas, <laughs> Yeah. It, it's the baby in the background there. She was playing around while I was filming, being a good little gal. Hey. Mwah. So back to the video. <laughs> Bluey then enters in the scene. She's got the exact same design. She gives Bandit a letter inside is a drumstick. And Bandit says, oh, you beauty, which is a very Aussie slang phrase. Basically, it means something is great or you're great or it's great. And then you see them all sort of dance to him, like playing the drums, which we see a lot of Bandit playing musical instruments and singing. But you might notice it looks weird. They basically just rehash the animation from the pilot to put into episode six. You can tell from like the movements and the patterns. It, it looks strange. It looks a bit dodgy. It's not quite as smooth as we see in all the other episodes. And I get it. I get why they did it rather than just redoing the whole thing because it takes them almost a month basically to make one episode. So yeah, if you can cut out a month's worth of work, why not? Disney does it all the time with their old movies into new movies. So I don't blame Ludo Studios at all for doing this. It makes sense realistically in a timeline to get it all out. But we then see the title card in both the pilot and in the episode six. The major difference of course is there's no little walking leaf in the pilot episode and also no voiceover. Whereas in episode six, we hear the voiceover. This episode is called The Weekend. We then have a scene switching over into the living room. And I love that in the pilot episode, we still have the same feel basically. On the TV is someone playing cricket and up on the wall you can see a picture of what maybe is a red healer but you can't really tell the details unlike in episode six where there's quite a few easter eggs so we have the same ball rolling into the scene we still have the same cricket player on the TV as well but underneath the TV is quite a few little easter eggs and references so we've got a picture of Ayers Rock, which is in the center of Australia and one of our most iconic landmarks. We then have a stone with a paw print in it, like a fossil, which is a nice hint at Bandit being an archeologist. And then we have a little magpie bird as well on the TV. Now, of course, on the TV, 
we have the cricket player as well. So I love that they made him look like an Australian cricket player. So we have the green helmets and then the insignia in the middle there is meant to be the Australia sort of crest, I guess, which usually has a emu and a kangaroo on it. But in this one, kind of looks like they've made it like a koala almost. And then on the cricket bat, it looks like maybe they have like an outline of Australia on there. And usually the Australian cricket team has like an outline of a kookaburra on their bats on occasion, depending on when they're playing. We then move into the next scene, which is the girls tackling and wrestling their dad. Again, this happens in two different rooms. In the pilot, it seems to be happening in like a playroom art room almost. And it the only real Easter eggs in the background there is the big picture of Australia. It has like a fish, a dolphin, a kangaroo, and I think what maybe looks like a bird in the corners of it. And then in episode six, though, we have them in the sunroom outside. They're making a joke about staying on him because he's a wild beast, which I feel like is like a future reference to him being a wild beast in the episode camping. And then we have Chili entering into the room. So in the pilot episode, you'll notice that she doesn't have a brown patch over her eye at all. And she also just says, oh, I'm just going out for a tick. Out for a tick means like out for a short time. So it'll be a tick, just a tick. Whereas in episode six, she says, oh, I'm going out for a run. We see her with a little iPhone or her phone or whatever it is for her to go running. What might look a little bit weird in this is her actual eye patch, which is also I guess you would say an animation error, but maybe it's just something that they changed over time. So in season one, Chili changes basically with her animation. In some episodes, she has that brown patch going all the way around her eye. And in other episodes, she has where it goes just out to the side and that sort of white patch in the middle goes under her eyes. You'll notice it when you see it. You're like, oh, she, she doesn't look quite right. Or at least in season two and season three, she has a more consistent design. Something I find interesting as well is this scenario we see of like Bandit playing with the kids while Chili goes off to do something something is really stereotypical for season one. This happens a lot where we see Bandit as the primary caregiver, I guess, or person who plays at home with the kids whilst Chili is off to work, out for a tick, going for a run. So this is very typical of what we see for season one of Bluey. So something else we see in the sunroom as an Easter egg, of course, is our two pineapples. The pineapple is on the logo for Ludo Studios. There's also a big pineapple in Queensland, Australia, where Bluey is set. So it's always fun seeing like those reoccurring Easter eggs, like the pineapple, tennis balls and the long dogs. Now it's really cute. Bandit tries to say like, oh, I want to give your mum a kiss to try and escape the kids. And Bluey says, no smoochy kiss for you. And something really interesting is that the word smoochy was actually censored out of Bluey in India. So for anyone who else who's sort of overseas in other countries, please let me know if smoochy was also censored in your country or not. Now then we hear the cricket commentator on the TV making an announcement. Now his announcement is different in the pilot versus episode six. So in the pilot, he mentions that Mark Taylor is gone or is out. And Mark Taylor is actually a former Australian cricketer and now currently the director of Cricket Australia. Whereas in episode six, he says that Boyd is out and that could be a reference to David Boyd, who was also a cricketer, but he's not as famous as Mark Taylor, so it could just be a reference to any name. So from there, we then move into the lounge room, and again, we've got two uh, pineapple Easter eggs. We've got the pineapple ornament there on the side table, as well as a pineapple on the rug on the ground, which is really cool. And then the dog bone in the background, a bit of a gag, dogs, bones, but also Bandit being an archeologist and an old bones. Whereas in the pilot episode, not really as many Easter eggs, unfortunately, but we do have Legos and a ball. And I know Legos remind me a lot of kids, so I can see why they did that. Another big difference that we see between the designs, I guess, for Bluey and Bingo in the pilot versus episode six is their spots on their back. So Bingo in the pilot has multiple spots rather than her one big one that we see in episode six. And Bluey still has three spots, but they're not designed like the Mickey Mouse logo unlike they are in episode six and onwards where she has that more Mickey Mouse star spots. We then see Bandit referencing an LBW, which means leg before wicket. It's a term in cricket. For anyone who's unaware, cricket is one of our major sports in Australia. We then move on to our next scene where the girls are playing magical statues and they're on the staircase. And this is basically where it ends for the pilot episode. All that we can see is just a still frame from this. And I mean, the major differences of course is the color. The background in episode six and every other episode is very colorful. All the walls are very colorful, greens, blues, reds, pinks. But in the pilot episode, everything is very stereotypical of like a Queenslander house. So it's very white, pale kind of colors. Not as fun as, you know, the actual bluey episodes. 
We then also have Bandit coming in saying bonjour. I'm pretty sure French is probably Bandit's favorite language. He uses French a lot through season one, two, and three. So it all started from here. And then I love that they make the little like beep, pause the game, and they show them all together in the bathroom, which I think is very stereotypical of what it's like to have kids. They are always with you everywhere, even in the toilet. A really cute reference though of them in the toilet is the song that Bingo is singing. It's Bill be singing, Bill be singing. Which is a parody of the song for Jaka. In Australia though, this version of the song, the only one I've ever heard is called Barramundi. So instead of Bill B digging, it's Barramundi, Barramundi. I can get maybe why they changed it in the show because Barramundi is just a fish in Australia. Maybe no one would get it. Bill B digging is a little bit cuter. So it's a cute reference though to Australian animals and that kind of song. I also find it funny that Bluey is reading like a bird watching book basically in the toilet because of course in the toilet are all like the boring books and Bandit's on his phone which has the paw print on the back rather than like the apple for iPhones, so it's their version of iPhones. And then of course we unpause, we come back to the staircase and we get our first Simpsons reference, which is dollary Doos. I love that they added this in as well. So the next part, we move into their like entranceway from their front door. And this is like the very stereotypical entranceway that we see in season one, two, and three. However, there is some also some animation errors in here as well. But the first thing I wanna point out though is the picture of Grandad up there on the wall. This is actually a little bit different the one that we see in Sticky Gecko in season two. This is more, I guess, of like a simplified version of that picture. So it's not as detailed just yet. We do of course see two tennis balls, which are our Easter eggs, but these tennis balls move. And that's our animation error. As we see from this scene to the next and back again, the tennis ball near the door disappears. The one that goes from behind the cat becomes in front of the cat. The blue bus is missing and then it appears where the tennis ball was. So there's just like some little animation errors there. As we move outdoors, Bandit's chasing the girls around. He calls them reprobates, which basically means scoundrels, which is a really cute sort of intellectual word that he uses for the girls. Again, sort of emphasizing how he's like an archeologist and a professor at the university, possibly. We then have like the door gag of like the girls buzzing it and him trying to get in and out. Something again that's a little bit different is the door. So in some episodes, the door has had like a screen door attached to it, but in other episodes, it doesn't. This is one of those ones. And then as we see Bandit outside again, chasing the girls around, Bingo runs past a football and then to a mulberry bush. It's kind of like an Easter egg to the children's song. Here we go around the mulberry bush. And this is then where we meet our walking leaf, which is a real life insect. It's called a leaf catty did. And this is basically a type of grasshopper. Now, as Bingo's trying to get her dad's attention, the animation style changes, which I think is beautiful. I love when they do this. And I also think it's just a great way to show different styles for the animators as well. There's a really nice parody of this as well in season three where Bandit it is looking at a leaf, which, you know, replicates this episode where Bingo is looking at the leaf. Something else that's interesting, I think, is also the voice of Bingo. It sounds so much younger. Again, this was done in 2017. So the voice actors, of course, would have been much younger than what they were when they filmed again in 2018 and so on and so forth. Also, Bingo's reaction, I guess, in this episode is very much like a sort of three-year-old almost. Not so much that sort of four and five-year-old. So we can really see over the seasons, the kids aging, even with their animation and how they've portrayed them in the show too. We then see Bingo getting quite sad because no one came and saw her walking leave, but then her mum comes back into the scene. She's looking for where Bingo is. And there's a couple of little Easter eggs here. One of course is the paw prints in the cement, which is really cute and something they keep throughout the season. I think that's very stereotypical for like kids at the front of their house, if there was ever wet cement put your handprints there. But also the music that Chili is listening to is Pink Floyd, the Dark Side of the Moon album. The cover there, instead of it being like the triangle, it is a dog bone instead. So that's a really cute shout out, I think, to a music Easter egg. We then see this beautiful scene of all these rainbow lorikeets in a tree. Rainbow lorikeets are an Australian parrot that is very stereotypical for the east side of Australia around where Brisbane is. We then see them in the kitchen, just shucking some prawns, prawns as well stereotypically Australian, put a shrimp on the barbie kind of thing, but we call them prawns, not shrimp. We see the girls then in the bathroom washing Bandit's hair, which I think is really cute, and then brushing their teeth. A little Easter egg here is Bluey's toothbrush is Chunky Chimp toothbrush. There's bananas on it and you can see like the chimp's tail. So we of course learn more about Chunky Chimp later on in the season. You see Bandit just exhausted at the end of the day, even though it's Saturday, there's still more weekend to go. And then we get a look into the girls' bedroom and Bingo is quite sad and Chili notices it as well and they call Bandit upstairs. And while they're waiting for him to come up, Bluey is trying to like entertain her with this sushi doll, which I think is also another Easter egg. It looks a lot like Sarah Sushi from Shopkins. So I think that's a bit of a parody. Also, we have this scene 
when Bandit comes in in the pilot episode as well, but we only see the still for it. A little bit different, as I'm sure you can see here. It's not a sushi doll, it's just a regular little doll with green hair. And the background, there's like an elephant and just some wall hangings. Very different from the very overly decorated room that the girls currently have. From here, we then get a masterclass from Bandit as to how to apologize or empathize with your child when they're sad. And basically, yeah, he just acknowledges Bingo's feelings. He says that he's sorry he wasn't able to be there. He tells her why. He makes her laugh and cheer her up. And it goes a long way. She's happy. They end the night happily as well. You then see as Bandit's leaving a bigger shot of the room again and there is an animation error. If you look on the beds, Bingo's is meant to be the little B, but here it's the capital B instead, which is normally on Bluey's bed. So again, just small animation errors. Bandit then of course also says, yeah mate, and no worries, which are very Aussie slang phrases. So I love that Bandit is very Australian with his phrases at all times. And then in the end credit scene, we see the little leaf just walking through. Overall, I think the moral of this episode is very much that, you know, the weekend for children can last forever and that you should just put your phone down, enjoy your time with them. But even if you do do that, you're still gonna miss something sometimes and that just happens. But it's important to acknowledge it for the child's sake, make them feel heard and understood. A little bit of love and listening goes a long way in cheering a child up. But what did you think of this episode, especially in comparison to the pilot as well? Is there anything I missed? Did you see a long dog? Cause I certainly didn't. If you did, let me know down below. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button as well as that bell for notifications so you don't miss out on any of my future breakdowns for season 3B, as well as a few other episodes from season one as well. Big thumbs up, all of the love to you. So please hit that thumbs up for a little bit of love my way as well. I've picked out some other videos you might like, and I will see you cheeky dogs in another video. Mwah. Bye.